हेलो फ्रेंड वाम वेलकम इन दिस वीडियो दैट इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ ब्लास्टुलेशन फ्रेंड्स ब्लास्टुलेशन इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ फॉर्मेशन ऑफ हालो एंड मल्टी सेलुलर ब्लास्टोसिस्ट दिम्रियो आर ब्लास्टोसिस्ट दैट इंटर्स द यूटेरस रिमेन्स फ्लोटिंग इन द यूटेरन कैविटी फॉर टू टू फोर डेज आफ्टर इट्स एंट्री दैट इज टिल द एंड ऑफ सेवंथ डे आफ्टर द फर्टिलाइजेशन फ्रेंड्स यू कैन सी हेयर द ultrasound or sonography of a blastula which shows floating blastula in the uterine cavity or you can see this picture where the blastula is floating in the uterine cavity the outer layer of cells seen in the morula now form the layer called trophoblast cells from the trophoblast begins to absorb the glycogen rich uterine milk the blastocyst doubles in size from 0.15 mm to 0.3 mm with a more fluid entering inside the blastocyst cavity is formed the outer cells become flat and are now called as trophoblast cells since they help only in absorbing nutrition for developing embryo the inner and larger cells of the morula form inner cell mass or embryoblast the inner cell mass or embryoblast is actually responsible for development of embryo proper or true embryo the inner cell mass remain attached to the trophoblast on only one side the trophoblast cells in contact with embryonal knob are called as cells of rover at this stage the blastocyst shows polarity the side with the inner cell mass is called as embryonal end and the side opposite to it is the abembryonal end by the end of 7 day the blastocyst is fully formed it is now ready for implantation and gastrulation the function of zona pellucida is to prevent the implantation of the embryo at an abnormal site it does not expose the sticky and phagocytic trophoblast cells till it reaches the implantation site that is within the uterus hence zona pellucida is required to rupture before implantation in the uterus so in this way the process of blastulation takes place friends If you like this video please subscribe the channel press the bell icon and share this video among your friends thank you